hi guys welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to draw entity relationship diagram using dbdiagram.io now i've gotten a lot of requests for me to do this people will be asking me hey how did you draw your erd model and i've been always been telling them i use dbdiagram.io so now i decided to make a video or a tutorial on this so actually well while i was working in my workplace i introduced this app to my boss and i was like ah this app is wonderful it has a lot of features like let's get using it and he rejected the app i was like why why will you do that and later on he actually found that the app was really nice you know something about bosses they, they feel like oh their own application is the best their own tools they're using is the best and all in all but later on he found that the tool is nice and he said okay yeah you can use it in the team and from then on board we started using the application because it's wonderful it has a lot of features for the fact that i could share my diagram with other people and they could edit it easily and say okay um i don't like the way this part is or maybe we could do it some way like this and for the fact that you can export the diagram and everything you've created in sql format wow like it's crazy the application is dope and before i get into the video fully please please and please um i was not sponsored at all it's just a tool i love and i want to show you guys Okay, now this is the website dbdiagram.io. Now you can see a uh, draw entity relationship diagram. So I just go straight to um, the features that they have and the reason why I love it and the reason why I think you two are going to love it too as well. Now they say enjoy the efficiency of writing code. You type an ERD diagram appears. Your fingers never need to leave your keyboard. Exactly. So. You don't need to like in the other tools you have to draw like a box and put the different different stuff in there but yeah you just have to type in what you need the data type the fields that you need and that's just it and it actually generates sql statement for you for whether yeah, is um sql mysql um postgres and others like it's just so dope and when you're done you can export your diagram in um, pdf format or image format anyone you want to sometimes i do that with pdf sometimes i do use um image for me to share and for me to put it on my github now one click sharing now you can share this diagram with your colleague which was one of the things i love so much about it you could share it with your colleague it's just great like it's wonderful now you say you can integrate it with popular web framework or you or if you use popular web frameworks like Rails or Django simply upload your schema to RB or exactly when you actually um um exported the SQL we can input it in your whatever framework that you in that you have integrate it to your SQL database quickly generate your diagram from SQL dump files yeah you can do that like the one thing I love most about it is the fact that you can generate your SQL statement from the diagram and also you can share with your colleague that is just priceless. Okay so let's go to the app show the way and now this is the app um you have to like log in you have to sign up i actually have signed up here already so you could to just sign up so that you have some of these features down here maybe the export to pdf and stuff like that okay now when you get into the app fully this is the first diagram you see the example diagram you see here so what i'm going to do in this video not to make it long just to show you the tool um i'm going to use my blog api i've created i'm going to like draw the erd model for my blog api so i'm going to draw it like a cumbersome big diagram stuff like that no this is not <laughs> an erd um tutorial it's just how to draw erd that's just what this tutorial is for okay so let's get started so now these are the stuff here so what i'll do is i'm going to remove everything from down here i remove everything i don't need it i remove everything from down here yeah and it's telling us errors because of some of these things that you're seeing here okay so now let's get started so what i'll do is let me just put a comment so that it doesn't give us error put a comment down here comment also in this place too as well so we're just having all the users and the country so now in my blog api um i have a first name like as vodka first name right so this this is the place you're going to write your feed like this place and this is where it's going to show immediately can we see this immediately showing 
so and here is what it's the um what's it called data type now we are having pk here which stands for primary key and the increments like those increments you have to put all this so that when you're exporting your sql it will export it properly for you to have the increments operator that you need for you to increase like one two three four you know normally in sql so the next field that we need here is the last name which is Ivaka and the other one is email which is Ivaka as your variable character and the next one is password which is a variable character as well then we have row now row is an enum so now if you're looking for other data type um you just have to go check the docs i'll leave a link to the docs you like just come to the side the docs is already there just go check the docs and you see the various data type that they have i think they have some for uh, mongodb um, sql like the the um, data types are actually much so you could use them in for your diagram so now i put enums because why we can have admin or just normal user so i can just put it here to remind myself admin or, or user so now we have created that and updated that so my own created that is not like that it's this way and now updated at to the timestamp too but we don't need this country code we don't need this country code right so now the next model on our blog api is the post so here i'll change this to post right post and what we only let me just take this up guy to make things easy for me and i'll paste it here for the id we always need an id and i'll remove all this like that so what we need now is a title and is a variable character and we need the body the body is a text right so and we need a banner image like the url so it is variable car and we need we need um created at and that should be what a timestamp and we need updated at that should be a timestamp as well okay so now we have the two models here we can see the two models right wonderful these are the two models that we have you know we have to do our relationship right because it's a, it's a entity relationship that we have to do our relationship like we have to relate the two data so now the way we're going to do this is basically they have and db diagram has about two cardinalities we it has and no three cardinalities it has one to one many to one one to many but i don't know why um it does not have many to many i don't know db diagram like i don't know why they don't have any they need to include it many to many relationship i don't know why they don't have that okay so we need to do the relationship between the users and the post so the way we're going to do that if you look down here we can as well adjust this thing if you feel like if you want to like it, it's just dope okay there are two ways that we can do it so now we want to link this user and this post together like want to link this user and this post so now the user can have many posts like the admin can have many posts right the relationship between them so the relationship between them will be on the post so i can put it down here and i'll say user and i'll say int like this i'm following so now this is the user so let me let me make it user id rather user id so now the user id will link to these users so the way we're going to do that the relationship first to show it in the diagram is first to come down here look at the way it happens here so um first thing we have one many to one which is greater than first do that they will now have one to many which is lesser than they will now have one to one these are the relationship that you that we have so down here now i can create the relationship so what we'll do is to say ref like this ref then the reference will say okay um the post is um what is the post the post is many to one one user can have many posts right so we can just say um how are we gonna do that we can just say okay users right dot the id dot this id and we say it has a 
one to many relationship with the post.id so now and what is here all about expected what oh sorry i have to put this in here okay that's it so now we can see now we're saying the user is a one to many relationship like the user can have many posts is it not okay so that's one way for us to do that the other way for us to do that is basically doing it directly on the feed here so let's comment this one out so down here i can come into the in end now so the way we're going to do that is we remove it and we put a box like this and i'll say reference like reference like that so the reference now is a one to many relationship so to be greater than right then let's say the users dot id just like that like simple like that so I have to put in the int as well, sorry. So now we have it. It's a one to many relationship. So this is the one I usually do most of the time. I prefer this than doing this in the db diagram.io. I prefer I prefer doing this right than doing this one. I'm following. Okay now. So that's for that. So the next mode that we have on our page now is the comment. So now what we'll do is just a table then comments so here we can put an alias i can say as p first then instead of us instead of us using this user like the way we see a user has see you we can just put in use kind of users normally in sql like that and simple so here i can say the comments now then i can say as c let's put it as c why not and i don't know why okay, yeah we have to put in the space well so now what we need to do now just copy this again for the auto increment and i'll paste it down here right so now we have the comment so we need the name which is a variable character and we need the body which is the text now then we need um the created at which is a timestamp then we need updated ads which is another timestamp as well so now we need to link the comment and the post. So the way we do that is simple. So down here, after this guy, I can say, okay, the post ID now is still a one to many relationship. So I can say the post ID is an int. So you have to reference this and I'll say it's the P now, P dot, P dot ID, just like that. And we have that. As the comments can we see so can we see the links that we have so this is a one-to-many relationship i will seen everything so now i've drawn um everything i need for the diagram so what what not now let me show you some other tools that we can use this for like so if you have for instance if you have a one-to-many relationship you use this like this the other way have we seen it so it has changed to one to many relationship and if you have one to one relationship it's just this one and it's just one one i we seen that so but this is um many to many to one relationship because a post can have many comments yeah so that's just it okay now so what we need to do next is um let me show you some other features so i, I can arrange this like this like this how it is and we can also auto arrange but i don't like the way auto arrange work on this it's just make everything not look nice if i press it and i say let's do it you can see how it, how it is but right now it's okay because it's just a three diagram but when you have like complex ones you just jump pack everything like this i don't really like that honestly so let me reduce the um zoom so i can shift it like this i can design it anywhere i want to be like this anyhow i want it and i can do it like that so normally you want you want your cardinality to be showing when you like um want to what's it called download it i want to export it as a pdf of stuff like that so we can put the highlight straight away so it will just be there like this so we can see it the relationship when we try to download it or when trying to export it so now we can say okay export as pdf export as postgresql export as my sql export as png so i can click png if i want to and there's another way for me i can just open up it's like that let's open it and see so we see it here so we can also do that for the pdf if you want to just click on the pdf as it's going to open then you can share like this is the important one i love most about it you can share to give you a link that you can use 
so uh, okay yeah that's just it and you can also import import your mysql data as well and you can try to make it dark mode if you like dark mode and you can go back so there are many other features that you can use with this db diagram and i'm loving it so let's try to let's try to export it as a mysql so you see what i'm saying so i export as mysql so now if i open this up open up in my favorite editor which is vs code of course so we can see everything i was seeing auto increment you can see everything here down here and you can see all the references this is what i'm talking about like the forming key is doing everything for us isn't that wonderful like it's, it's kind of dope yeah so that's just it guys that's just it guys um that's it for the tutorial um please hit the like button hit the subscribe button if this video has been helpful for you see you in the next one guys bye